you assemble a football scooter, we must know the steering structure. We therefore should recall the angle joint first. When it comes to folding and turning, first we should recall the angle joint learned before. Through the connection of angle joint, it should be possible to steer. Namely, it is very convenient to adjust angle through angle joints. So first, we like to show you such a structure made with angle joints. The angle joints work with two of the discs. The two of the disc we chose here is at 10 degrees, which is the best choice, because it can achieve a right angle during the rotation. We'll take two profiles as example. First, install a sliding slot on the profile and adjust it to the proper position. Then, as our introduction course told, the folding end of normal football scooters is usually at where the steering rod and the frame join together. So here will be where we put the steering rod later. After installing sliding slot, We'll install T positioning blocks on both sizes of angle joint. When installing, clear where we'll turn the angle joint. We need to align angle joint with sliding slot. After fixing our last step is to adjust their position to align with the front end. we have to clear what to connect with the bottom of angle joint. When here is where it stays, what should we put in front here? In courses before, we already knew the structure of steering. It should be achieved by the U-joint and bearing joint. So here, we connect the angle joint to bearing joint. Then, we connect U-joint to the front of bearing joint. Bearing is available. When connecting bearing joint to angle joint, we need positioning blocks to connect them. After that, we put a 25mm bolt and a nail respectively. To ease this step, we put the nut first. Then we let the bolt slip over the screwdriver. After that, press to fix it. Okay, this structure is done. Now we will connect the 10 degree tooth disc to above profile. And then we put a 32mm bolt at one side. At the same time, the other side needs a nut for fixing. We get a right angle now, which means this part is done too. The set steering structure is to be achieved through adding another profile and steering like this way. Now we connect a U-joint to a new profile. We add a sliding slot in the middle of this profile. Next, we put T position blocks on the upper and lower sizes of the U joint. After their holes align with each other, we put 25mm bolt in and fix it. Now, the 
steering direction can be determined. In this connection at bearing joint and U joint, we need a washer here. So we put a washer in first, and then put another washer on the top. Next, we insert two profiles to match and make sure the holes aligned. Now we put 16mm bolt in and fix it. Put nut in the opposite and fix it. Do not fix it too tight. Now it can steer. We only need to loosen this side to make it steer vertically or horizontally. Just don't go back to touch the other profile. After adjusting here, do fix it. Okay, it's all done.